Hey, hey, everybody joining us, Tony Gaskins here, and I'm here with another one of our coaches from MyMentor.Life, and she's building her business, building her brand as a coach. Her name is Carmen Nesbitt. Carmen, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine, Tony. How are you? <laughs> awesome, awesome. I thank you for joining me, and I know this could be you know, kind of tough if you don't always do interviews. Do you, this your first Zoom interview? Yes, first ever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. That's good. Well, I'm glad this could be a first for you. And, you know, that, that right there in itself is a lesson to aspiring coaches that you have to step, you're getting out of your comfort zone. You're already coaching one-on-one. -on -one but this is your first Zoom interview. So it's like a lot of times I know people look and they say, oh, Carmen, she's a coach and she on this site, mymentor.life, and she getting booked for session. She already must be this superstar expert, you know, and now you stepping out of your comfort zone again to just share your journey with others. And so the first question I want to ask you is, how long have you been coaching professionally, like being paid? And getting paid. So believe it or not, Tony, uh, your site is the first site that I ever been on. Your site is when and how I started getting paid from coaching. Now, if you want to go like back before I started getting paid, I can go there, but it's up to you. I see. Wow. Okay. Well, that's great to know. And that's another thing that you know I'm curious about as I see coaches on my mentor.life i'm always curious if you was already up and running and then saw my mentor.life and join or if the site is helping launch professional coaching careers so that's good to hear now the backstory how long do you feel you've been speaking into people's life and you know supporting people as like a sister mentor type person so, Tony, um, it's, it's crazy you ask that, but God has been using me from, for many years, all the way from a child, all the way to adulthood. And I didn't know that he was using me because a lot of times through my years, I wasn't living to according to how God wanted me to live. And I'm like, you know, how is he using me to speak into these people's life? And I got mess going on. But God showed me, you don't tell me how and when to use you. So how it started was like things that I would go through in life. I would just talk to my friends about it, things of that nature. And I'm a real, I get along with a lot of people. I'm like a people person. So when I meet people, people feel welcome into talking to me and it just happened from there. And then now I want to say since like 2017, I'm an entrepreneur. I started my own business to where I take people that don't have cars to work. So I start off like three o'clock in the morning to like 12 p.m. And I'm taking people to work, people that I don't know, never seen a day of my life. And it's times that they are in the car crying and telling me their stories. And sometimes I'm crying. And a lot of times I'm praying and, you know, just telling them like, we all is on this life journey. Nobody knows the instructions to life but the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And we have to go to God's word. But I also let them know, like, yeah, we know that God's Bible is the instruction through life. But we can also use our testimonies to help others. Because a lot of people are afraid to tell their testimony. But for me, I'm not that way. And I do that because people are going through things in life. And they don't have nobody to talk to. You know, so that's how it started. So every day, I'm getting up doing my little side hustle. I'm talking to people, I'm helping them in ways that I can. And it's, it's amazing. And then what happened was how I ended up to your site. God put me to your site, okay? I was going through whatever I was going through, like trials and tribulations, and God was getting me through. And I kept questioning God. I was like, God, why do you keep having me speaking to these people? And you still ain't done with me. You know, I want to wait until you're done with me. Then I'll get to the people. God said, baby, I ain't never going to be done with you. I'm going to be molding you every day of your life. So my friend, she was telling me, like, um, 
you know, I think you'll be a good motivational speaker. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. So during my time and I was fasting and I was humbly bowing to God and doing whatever he asked me to do. And one day I was watching you and just laughing through the whole video. And then you said something about my mentor that I like. And then I was like, I, I just wrote it down in my notes. I'm like, okay, maybe I'll think about doing it. Then my friend was like, you should just go ahead and do it. And I'm like, I want to wait until God have me perfect. And God kept saying, I'm going to continue to keep molding you. So do as I say. So I did it. And it's, it's been amazing, Tony. It's been amazing. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing to hear. And I'm glad that you jumped out there. And I saw you on the site. And um, you were on the home page when I first saw you. Did you write in and request to be on the home page? No. And when I seen it, I was like, what am I doing on the home page? What's going on here? <laughs> so, so I'll be honest with you. It, it was like a glitch in the system, but I guess it was God. I guess it had to be God because, you know, I authorize who goes on the home page and I had never authorized you to be on the home page. And it's crazy because I have a quote that says, God don't need anybody permission to bless you. So you ended up on the home page without my authorization. And so when I saw you, I was like, okay, just leave it there. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I said, okay, yeah, just leave it there. And then so we alternate the coaches on the home page. Now we try to do it like every month, even every week. So it just kind of rotates, but at the time that you ended up on the home page, we weren't alternating the coaches. So you were there for a good amount of time and it probably just keeps circling around. But I say that to say it's interesting to me because of what you said about just your journey and just you stepping out on faith and you believing. Now, your first client that you coached through my mentor.life, you know, how was your feeling and how was the session? Was you super nervous? Did it turn out okay? Did you bomb it? So because I was just so used to doing it on a regular day, just to like normal people and going on a site and booking people that was different for me. So I was very nervous. Listen, Tony, I had like a hundred questions I'm going to ask, all that. But then when I got on the phone with the person, well, for one, I prayed. I pray before all of my sessions because I want God to come through on these sessions. I want God to handle it all. So I prayed before I got on the session and asked God to give me the words to say, you know, use me. And I put those questions to the side and it just happened so naturally. You know, it was, it just happened naturally. You know, to be honest, by the time I got the phone with her, she had uh, wanted me to book with another family member. You know, and a lot of times they get emotional and stuff, but it, it wasn't good. But I was, I was scared at first, but then when I got on the phone, I was, it was fine. It was like, it was a breeze. Wow. That's awesome. So was, that means that you are a natural, you're a natural at it. And now I used to, when I started coaching, I was not that good because I would just talk, talk, talk. So it sounds like you've already learned to ask questions and to listen and then speak when it's appropriate to, you know, drop a little question or a nugget of wisdom that you already have that flow. So, yes, how I start is I let them talk first. You know, I ask them a few questions, you know, like their name, how old they are. Do they have children? Things of that nature, a little simple stuff. And then I get them the floor and I let them talk and then I respond. Right. I see. I see. So you, you say you start working on your other gig, your other stream of income, driving people to work. You start doing that at 3 a.m.? Yeah. Because you have people. So you, I, live, I know you ain't asked me yet, but I live in Detroit. So we have a lot of factories here. And people going to work 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. So I start my shift for that job at 3 a.m. and start taking people to work because factories. Mm, mm. 
Now you driving just your you driving a car? My vehicle, yes. Yes. Wow, okay. Now if you wanted to get you like a 12 passenger van and pick up a, a lot of people that's going to the same factory, could you do that or would you have to get like a special transportation license in Detroit? So I won't have to get no type of license, but I do have a few clients to where their friends come into my vehicle to go to the same place. But a lot of times, like, people not going to want to feel like they on a bus and they got to wait till this person get dropped off, that person get dropped off. So when I get to, depending on the factory and they have like a lot of people, this, a lot of my clients that come at the same time, then I'll take them to work by themselves. Right, I see, I see. And so coaching, you um what made you want to become a coach, like a professional coach, like you know, really start doing it seriously? What made you want to do that? Like I told you, it, it was God. It was not in my plans, it was not my plans to do it. It was God, and it was like, you know, I'm out here talking to people out in the regular world. You know, what is it going to hurt for God to use me to touch other people? And that's what I did. I was being obedient, you know, to God. But it was not. It was not my idea. Wow. So you kind of just stumbled upon it and, and it started working out. You got favor out the gate, you know. So you, you come out of the gate. I don't recall ever talking to you personally so, but you bumped into me some kind of way. Had we ever spoke personally, like on a coaching session or at an event or in an email? Tony, I have never met you a day of my life. Never. Wow. I met you through the website. I've never seen you, never met you. Yeah. But I, I took some of your classes, though. A lot of your courses. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I never wow. So you just came out and now that that right there is something because some some of the coaches that i see i have seen them before I, or i've met them at an event but for you to come and take the course to get on the site and then get featured on the site by you know happenstance by you know god's intervention and then start getting booked on the site that right there, that, you know, what kind of feeling does it give you? Like when you see how it's working out and how, how it's happening, what kind of feeling does it give you? Or is it like shocking, humbling? It's humbling, but I also, I was saying to God, like, God, what is you doing? Like, I was not expecting none of this. You know, I was not expecting an email from you. I was not expecting nobody to contact me. To be honest, I'm going to tell you something, Tony. I know you ain't asked me this, but I'm going to just put it out there. So when I was signing up for it, I was like, okay, this is $20. You know, you know, I'm like, okay, I can use this $20 for this. I can use this $20 for that. Like, no, I'm not going to do this because this $20 to go towards this. And I'm like, no, I, I can't afford it right now. And God said, listen, you ain't going to be no broker than what you is from that $20. So go and pay that $20. So I paid that $20. And I told God, I said, God, if you give me one person to cover my $20, to spread your word, I will be perfectly fine with that. Just one person to cover that $20 for that month. Tony, I cannot count how many times I got that $20 in one day. That $20 in one day, and I just wanted to, I said, God, I just want to touch one person. I just want to help one person that month to cover that, and I'm fine. I can't count how many times in one day. In one day. Wow, 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 wow. That is something. Everybody watching this, you can book a session with Carmen. You hear her heart, you could click the link in the description. It'll take you to her page if you want to talk to her and just feel her spirit and hear more about her journey because your journey may be similar. You can book a session with her. The link is in the description. Carmen, that is something. That is, that is, uh, it's really, that's, it lets me know. And I always say this, I don't believe in coincidence. I only believe 
in the evidence that God sits high and looks low. And a lot of times people don't believe, but when you see stuff fall into place like that right there, you know, that, that if, if you were struggling with your belief, that'll make you go ahead and, all right, Lord, I know you're real now. Because I was like, I ain't spending this $20. I was like, no, I just can go to work something else. Listen, God, God is amazing. It's nothing, God orchestrated this. Like you said, you don't believe in coincidence. I don't either. None of this, I didn't plan none of this. God did all of this. The, me being here on this interview, me being taking sessions and getting paid for it, it's all God's doing. And it's a blessing. Mm. It really is. Mm. That's amazing. And you know what? I was, um, I was, now when you got on my mentor and you first started out on there, when you signed up, what did you make your coaching rate? Like, what did you say I'm going to charge? I, I started off with the lowest was $25 an hour. Wow. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's smart. That's very humbling. And that's the perfect place. I tell people that all the time, don't be afraid to start there and just climb because it's like when you look at it you're doing what you love to do and you're living your purpose and you're doing something that you're passionate about and it's not like you got to try to break the bank off of one client the other thing that you confirmed in my spirit is what i heard when i was creating the site is when i was creating the site the developers who were coding the site building the site mm -hmm. on the sign up page where coaches sign up they had it set at 200 they had it set at 250 dollars a month because they were thinking <laughs> so now if it was if you went there and seen that 250 what you would have said listen i was complaining about 20 dollars okay tony and i shouldn't have even been complaining I, I ain't had no business complaining about that twenty dollars because twenty is is nothing. We spend that on junk food or a a, a shirt, a t shirt. We spend it on things that's not even important, don't even matter. But to pay twenty dollars a month to let God use me to help people through this life journey is 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 nothing. No, you can't put no price on that. You you cannot. You said the key words right there. It's really priceless. But me being a coach and me coming from, you know, that situation of like we go through, everybody goes through being scarcity minded, you know, and we all go through that. And I see even with the certification, you know, some people, they'll say like, oh, you know, I thought it was going to be uh 800 but now it's 850 and and i would and they really would be hung up on that 50 dollars and and i'm thinking like man if they only knew what will happen when they stretch their mind and not just look at the price but look at the opportunity and look at the purpose and that's what you coached yourself through because the reason why I made it $19.99 is because I know as a successful entrepreneur, there have been times in my life that I got tired of seeing a $4.99 monthly charge on my statement. <laughs> so I was like, hey, I know people, you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed one day, $19.99, I'm canceling this. You know, I knew it. So I'm glad you joined. And are you glad that you? went ahead and took that step you know if you could do it all over again would you would you make the same decision i would and also i took your other courses that's more than 20 dollars. i think i believe i took at least four of your courses but outside of your courses you know i have some other people i follow and i took some of their courses at the end of the day it's for your life you know Either you want to grow and evolve or you want to stay stuck where you at. And, you know, for me as an adult that's trying to grow and evolve, you got to put in that work. And if that includes money, do it. Because we have spent money on something else that we want. Why not put it on your growth? Mm, you know? mm, that's a powerful shift. That's a powerful shift. And if you don't mind me asking, how old are you right now? 
I'm very youthful. <laughs> so you one of them, you know, women that don't ask my age. So, oh, but I ask you your age because it might inspire somebody. I'm young and youthful. <laughs> so, and you know, they say black don't cry. So we cannot tell. I do not know if you are, I can't tell if you are young, you know, in your thirties or if you actually, the age that you look, because today you could be 19, you could be 25, but you could also be 35 or 40. It's just like a, a person can't tell, but I could tell like what you say, you young and you youthful and you look really young to me. So that speaks to me in another way because it's like to be young, and to jump out there and have success. When I know sometimes people be in their 50s and 60s and scared to jump out there. So, you know, you took that step. Did you have to talk to anybody that kind of pushed you to say, hey, go ahead and do it? Or was it just something you came to within yourself? Well, as I told you, God instructed me, but then I also had a friend who was telling me I should be a motivational coach as well. But I will say this as far as when it comes to my age, I have been coaching people this double my age, you know, so I tell people all the time, do not put wisdom and age together. You think that someone is much older than you has a lot of wisdom. You would think that's how it goes, but it does not always work like that. You know, God can use children to speak to you, you know, so never put age or wisdom, but I've been coaching people that's old enough to be my grandmother you know, young enough to be one of my kids, possibly, you know, so. Mm -hmm. I see, hey, you said something right there now because you said a mouthful right there because I became a professional coach at the age of 23. And I wrote a book at 22 and I remember people saying that to me then. But then I look at certain statistics and a lot of people who became millionaires, it didn't happen until their 50s or 60s. And so it kind of is this lesson to where you're never too young to get started and you're never too old to get started. And I think that's what I'm pulling from what you're saying is you're starting young, but yet you're still able to help people. And I, and I bet the people that's old enough to be your grandmother, I bet a part of why they hiring you too is inspiration they probably like if this young lady out here stepping out and doing this i can be doing it i can be believing in myself and stepping in my dream so i bet a part of it is just seeing you you know on there in that position as a life coach or professional coach and just curious to say let me see how this works let me see how she got the confidence to get out here and do it now what are your three categories on my mentor.life that you coach in? Well, I have been changing them up because I can like specialize in many different ones, but I've been doing relationships, dysfunctional families, healing and breakup. Now I would like for you to change it to four. That would be nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you want a fourth one. Now see, I made it three, but Four probably is possible if it won't throw the alignment of the site off. But I made it three because when we first started testing it out with some coaches, people was doing exactly what I didn't want them to do. And they it, people were selecting 30 categories. <laughs> and so it's like if somebody select 30 categories, a person, I, and I didn't want coaches to mess themselves up, to be a jack of all trades. But four, I think that's something I could really, you know, sit down and think about. So if you did four, what would the four be? Um, relationships, dysfunctional families, healing, and breakups. Mm, okay. Now, dysfunctional families, that was probably a request from one of the coaches who signed up. And I don't know if that was your request or somebody else had requested it and it was already there when you went to sign up. But that is one that I see a lot of people struggle with. Have you been booked for that topic? Yes, many times. I've been um, 
you know what? It's been like equal with as far as when it comes to the breakup and relationships and dysfunctional families. I've been getting equal requests on that. But with the dysfunctional families, I've been getting like whole families. So I have the session, break it out in days, and I'm coaching whole entire families. So, but yes, I have. Wow, wow, that is something. And you learn about dis dysfunctional families from experiencing it yourself? From being in a dysfunctional family, yes. <laughs> yes. Right. And see, it's it's and see, that's the thing. It's people that are going through these things and dealing with these things and don't realize that for every one step you take, you one step ahead of somebody else that you could be looking back and reaching back to help them and say, hey, okay, this is what I just did. You know, I cut off contact with this family member for a week and they came back and apologized. And people don't realize that lesson could be taught to somebody that's in that mess struggling. So is that kind of, do you do that? Like, do you share some personal experiences that you went through or just the lesson that come from the experience when you coach it? Believe it or not, Tony, and this is why I say God is orchestrating this, even your whole website, because each person, last, every last person, including the men, that reach out to me, I have experienced the situation. I've been there and I've done that, or it's it, it's just it's it's crazy because it scares me sometimes. It's like I've been through the same thing, so I'm able to share that. And then not only that, you know, with me going through the same thing, well, what they have been going, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> with me have been going through the same thing that they have been going through. They didn't have bring family members that's experiencing the same thing. So I'm able to coach them through this and coach them through that. But it's, I've been through, whether it be a man, whether it be a woman, whether it be a kid, you know, child that they bring for coaching, I'm able to use my experience. And that's one thing I tell people, never be afraid to tell your testimony. Never. We all are learning in this life. And if God going to use you to tell your story, tell it and never be ashamed of it. You know, nobody is perfect. We all have had trials and tribulations, you know, and I'm very transparent when I'm talking to them and I get them details because I'm not afraid to tell my story. And I don't care what anybody think about my story because the only person I have to answer to is the man above. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, do some of your clients hire? Now, you said they tell family members, hey, you need to get you a session. Do some of your clients get a second or third session themselves? I do. I have some weekly ones, some monthly, you know, some every two weeks. It just depends. And then sometimes you have that person that just needed somebody to talk to. And then that'd be like, it, it'd be like that dead book one time. But I will say, and I'm going to just throw this in there. I've been counseling people from Africa, from London, all over the world. And that's amazing. And it's like, how do we have the same? This is why I tell you we should share our testimony because you in Africa, you in London, you in New York, you know, you in Georgia, and I'm in Detroit, and you able to call me, and I had the same story issue. And that's why I'd never be ashamed to tell your testimony. Mm, mm, that's powerful. That's powerful. And, you know, uh, I don't know how my personal brand kind of spread around the world but i've been hearing that because right now the main promotion for my mentor.life is me i'm promoting it through the this on the wall on my videos and it on my t-shirt and me just driving people there and so they coming from around the world but i didn't think international like london and africa would be booking coaches but I've heard that from several coaches that they getting booked from people outside of the country. So what was your feeling the first time someone outside of the country booked you? I was surprised. I was amazed. I and I was like, I was taken back. Because it's like, you want me to coach you? You want me? <laughs> so I was taken back. And also, different races. White, Black, Indians, 
all different colors. It's it's amazing, Tony. It really is. And what's crazy is it'd be funny to me how, you know, because for the black community, you know, we've been brought up a little different than the white community for the most part. And this it'd be funny to me how I'm be able to relate to those different races. It's like, wow, it's 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 amazing. Interesting. That's interesting. And so you learning and you're growing yourself as you meeting these people and hearing these stories. And that's the crazy part, how you kind of learn some things while you people think as a coach, you're just a teacher, you know, but as a coach on your sessions, you actually kind of learning different things about life that you didn't know. Is has that been your experience as well? So um what has happened with your site? Now I will say your site, Tony, it's amazing. I know you I said that a million times, but it is because your site has came an accountability partner for me. And I know you're saying how does the internet or a site becomes an accountability partner for somebody? And this is how. Now even though the internet is not a person to hold me accountable to my actions, it's like I'm on the site, giving my story, my testimony, preaching to these people. And no, they cannot see me physically, but I'm trying to live according to God's word, but God can see me. So it's like, I can't be preaching to these people, telling them my testimony. Then I'm doing the same thing or keep backsliding in my mess. So your website, well, your, um, Mentor my life has came an accountability partner for me. It really has. Mm, wow, wow! And you said something, and I and I keep reiterating that because I want people to understand that too. Like what you said, when you start to help others, it helps you because now you have purpose. Now you know people counting on you. Now you know you need to be able to come from an authentic place. <laughs> Will feel so terrible to be giving advice or supporting someone through their stuff if you still doing the same stuff so it encourages you and pushes you and that's what you've experienced exactly it has so there's a lot of times when i'm talking to them it's like i needed that encouragement myself i'm telling this person be strong you can do it you can get through it you know we all been there you know let this go release this and this is how you heal and this is how you end this and this is how you heal and that and then a lot of times i be encouraging myself when i'm speaking to others but it's it's good it's good mm. well carmen i'm so glad to hear you know your story and that you're getting booked now you got on there you know, it sounds like you got on there and you got booked, you know, not too far in. So I want to ask you, how long did it take for you being on the site before you got your first booking? Um, I, I think I've been on your site for six months. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, for six months. And I think I got booked my first week. I got booked my first, my first week I was on there. Mm, wow. So that worked out for you. Now, what would you say to the coaches? They've been on there, you know, two months, three months, and they haven't gotten booked. Is it any tips or anything that you've learned or that you would say to them about, you know, their profile or how they're using the site? Well, I got tips for them and people that want to do it. So for the people that's trying to get booked on their site, I would just say be genuine. Let it come from the heart. Let God use you. And like Tony said, don't do no uh, pictures in your car. Because I was going to do one. No, I wasn't. I'm just joking. <laughs> but don't do no pictures in your car. And just be genuine and be honest, you know. And then for the people that um, want to start coaching, and like I said, for me, I didn't want to do it because of maybe my past or things that I was going through. but God taught me that don't ever let someone hold you as something that I have forgiven you for. Don't ever let someone hold you to something that I has washed you from. So no matter what your past is, what you've been through, what you're doing, stop it, go to God, and get on that site. Mm. 
God, listen, ain't no, like I say, ain't nobody perfect. We all done done something that we're not proud of. And if somebody want to keep bringing up your past or things of that nature, don't worry about it. Just get on on that site and just use it as a testimony that I'm not that person no more. Mm, that's powerful. That's powerful. And I think that's a lesson that so many people need to hear because we need so many more servants because it's like you got a group of clients that you coaching, but it's over 300 million people in America. So it's like, you know, I probably work with, at this point, two times three, six times four, 24 people a month. And so if I'm only working with 24 people a month, it leaves so many more people that can't book a session with me and needs a coach. And then you getting booked and the other coaches getting booked, but it's so many mentors that's afraid to jump out. So Carmen, I want to encourage you to keep doing what you're doing. Keep pushing yourself. Keep being an inspiration. And I hope you do more. I hope you – you didn't mention if you wrote a book yet. If you haven't, I hope you do. Are you going to write a book? No. You know, I was fasting. And this is the time God introduced me to my mentor that life. And um, I started writing a book. And then I took one – I took your birth, your book – which was very helpful to me. So now I have more to do. I need like some assistance, like a little assistance in assistance in a certain area, but I, I'm writing my book. I have two books I'm writing. Awesome. Awesome. Keep going. Keep going. I feel like coaches, you know, need to write that book, need to do one-on-one -on -one sessions. And then eventually after doing the book, then your, your first course will come where your clients, after they do a session or do a few sessions, you say, hey, you can take this online course that they can go through. And if they can't afford coaching, they just can keep watching them videos over and over. So, you know, stay on your path, keep pushing yourself, keep growing. Thank you so much for taking out your time to do this interview with me. And to anybody watching, this who anybody who sees this you can book a session with carmen in the description under the video you'll find her link you can click there and book a session with her um to meet her to hear from her to get some feedback in your life and your situation carmen any last words that you have yes how many minutes i got left uh you know just flow from the spirit okay so i want to um it's my Facebook is my first and last name and my Instagram is my first and last name too. But if they go on there, I have not been on there. I've been fasting away from social media. So, but you can go ahead on there, but I haven't been on there, but I wanted to say to you, Tony, I want to say like, even though I don't know you personally, I've never met you a day in my life, but I feel like in my heart that what you portray to be is who you are. And I want to say thank you because it's hard to find in the black community, unfortunately, a God-fearing man that's living according to God, how God told us to live. Now, I'm not saying that there's no godly men out there, but in our community, it's rare to find. And I just want to say I'm proud of you for using your platform to serve God and to show people that you can serve God and still enjoy life. You can be holy and still enjoy life. And also putting these men in a place <laughs> and helping and helping us women, you know, when it comes to the issues of life and men. But I'm proud of you. Awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You know, it's good to hear that some people, you know, growing from it or getting something from it. So that means a lot. And I thank you, and I wish you the best on your journey. And um, I'll try to remember to put your Instagram and Facebook in the description, too, so anybody watching this, you just can click that. So thank you all so much for joining us and getting to meet Miss Carmen. And I want to encourage you on your journey, if you're ready to become a coach or you're ready to hire a coach, take that leap today. God bless you, and we'll talk soon. Thank you.